Our planet's oceans are responsible for some of the most severe weather on Earth. We just rarely see it. Given how vast they are, it makes sense that most of the time there's nobody around to experience it. Once in a while, though, a ship travels into some bad weather and captures it all on film. Cruise ships, cargo ships, oil rigs, they all get to bear witness to the waves that we don't see on land, and it gives you a true appreciation of the power of Mother Nature. There are tens of thousands of ships sailing the oceans at any given moment, both large and small. The vast majority of the time, conditions are fine. Calm winds, smooth waters, and sunny skies. It's also not that big of a deal for captains to have to go through bad weather. However, there is one thing that will definitely challenge the courage of even the most seasoned ship's captain, and that's the knowledge that you may have to sail through hurricane conditions. In this video, shot by Big Wave Master 1 in the North Sea, we get a glimpse into what it's like to sail through hurricane conditions. The ship, an emergency response and rescue vehicle, is built for weathering these waves, and will sail in this weather to rescue any helpless vessels caught in the storm. Swell after swell pound the ship's hull. I don't know about any of you, but I don't think I'd want to get caught in this. As mentioned, the ship's built to withstand these conditions, and the captain and crew are trained to stay composed in the midst of being tossed around by the unrelenting seas. No doubt, though, the conditions must make things on board pretty uncomfortable. But it's what comes with the job. As for the rest of us, we will have to rely on footage like this to tell the tale. The North Sea is one of the most volatile bodies of water anywhere on Earth. Here, the warm waters from the Gulf Stream collide with near-Arctic conditions from the Northern Atlantic and Scandinavian countries. These can produce some incredibly fierce weather conditions, which also lead to very turbulent seas. But it is also an area that is rich with oil and other natural resources. So, there are various oil rigs dotted throughout the sea, constantly drilling and braving these conditions. What people tend to forget is that these oil rigs, which are as large and sometimes larger than ships, actually float, although they are tethered to the ocean floor. So, although they are like floating towns, they're also at the mercy of the pounding waves. On January 10th, 2015, the oil rig Borgholm Dolphin found itself in the middle of a huge storm. The video shows the large platform listing from side to side as the ocean rises and falls. Even though the platform itself sits around 60 feet above the water, the spray from the pounding waves actually reaches up onto the deck. Concealed beneath the water, the oil rig has a few turbines that help keep it in the same position, preventing the wind and tides from moving it out of place. Large ballast tanks help store or purge water to keep it perfectly balanced. As you can see, though, they can only do so much when faced with massive waves. We'd like to say that our next video would take us to a different part of the world. But we're staying in the North Sea yet again. Are you seeing a pattern here? When we said that the North Sea has some of the most volatile weather in the world, 
we weren't exaggerating. Not only was this video also taken in the North Sea, it was once again taken from the deck of an emergency response and rescue vehicle as they patrol the waters for any vessels that are in distress. This video was shot during a three-day patrol searching for distressed ships in the area. To make things more difficult, the ship was doing its dangerous patrol in the middle of January, which is one of the coldest months of the year. Although not common in these areas, it is still possible for sea spray to freeze onto the edge of ships, making them top-heavy and prone to tipping over. Luckily, in this situation, the temperature was just warm enough to keep that from happening. When talking about monster waves, how could we leave out tsunamis? Tsunamis start far out at sea after water has been displaced by a large earthquake. Very few people have ever witnessed what these tsunamis look like when they're that far out at sea. However, a camera on a Japanese Coast Guard ship in March of 2011 caught the action. As the ship is sailing, it is clear to see that the horizon looks slightly off. The sea has risen quite high in the distance. If you look closely at the left, it almost appears that there is a small mountain of water. Upon seeing this, the captain knew that he had absolutely no recourse other than to sail right for it and ride over the wave. <laughs> Obviously, this wave was nothing the ship couldn't handle. To the captain, it was just another swell to sail over. But that isn't the point. This wave would ultimately be responsible for billions of dollars in damages on the mainland, not to mention the loss of thousands of lives. It is one of the only times where we get to see the origins of one of the most cataclysmic events in modern history. The North Sea isn't the only place where severe weather and monster waves exist. Back in April of 2021, sailors on board a chemical tanker watched helplessly as massive waves pounded their ship out in the Atlantic Ocean. The video was filmed by Andre M and gives a great insight into just the type of conditions these sailors experience. Wave after wave pounded the vessel, sending water and mist onto the deck. In the background, you can hear the wind whipping and ship creaking as it gets tossed around. 
Watching this, I can't help but imagine what it would have been like traversing this many years ago. Back when ships were much smaller and made of wood, it would have been one hell of a terrifying experience. Choppy seas are not anything new to ship captains. Things are made a lot easier when you have a bigger ship. Some of the largest ships sailing the world's oceans today are cargo ships, but even with their massive sizes, they aren't exactly immune to problems from rough waters and large waves. Captains still have to know how to properly deal with them and sail through them. Should the ship be in the wrong position, it could really damage the cargo and even pose a risk to the ship itself. Just off the coasts of France and Spain lies the Bay of Biscay. On this particular day, a fully loaded cargo ship was on a voyage to transport its payload when it came upon some bad weather. When this video starts, things are already in a pretty bad state. The ship has found itself being thrown about by waves and rough seas. However, the main source of the danger wasn't in the weather or the rough seas. It was in how the ship was loaded. Weight distribution is very important when it comes to ship safety. When done properly, it can actually help protect a ship from listing or rocking during bad weather. However, when done improperly, it can actually pose a real threat to the ship, even to the point of sinking. It is a rare occurrence, but there have been plenty of close calls. Large waves at sea are much more of a danger than we typically consider. While they may not pose much of a danger to us on the land, they definitely help us to appreciate the real power that our planet can display. To see more videos like this one, be sure to click the link on screen now. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. With that, thanks for watching and tune in next time.